Minnesotans have their summer traditions, a getaway that they can enjoy for a weekend or a week or even a month. We try to show up as many as possible in our series going to the lake. Yes, and with the State Fair a week away, we are winding down for the summer. I know that's hard to believe. Mm -hmm. uh, this week we're going out to Ortonville, which is about three and a half hours west of the Twin Cities. We join Mike and Frank again out there. Hello again. Hi, ladies. Good to see you. Yeah, this is the finale for going to the lake. So we're uh, going out geographically somewhere we haven't been all year. We uh, get to show you Minnesota right here where we are planted, Nortonville, and then right across beautiful Big Stone Lake. You see the pontoon boats and everything else, and that is South Dakota. So we put some miles in today, and it's cool to show people different places. It is. This is a great place to be if you're an outdoorsman at all because yeah. it's the mecca of Minnesota from here to about Fergus Falls where you can hunt deer, pheasants, geese, ducks. You can go fishing, catch walleye. We'll hope to catch some perch tomorrow. For sure. Lots of great things. Now, a lot of people out here have cabins. There are no resorts on the lake. But as we found out, you really don't need a cabin or a resort to have a good time here. You can simply bring your camper. Well, I always say Big Stone Lake is the best kept secret in Minnesota. Steve Draught might be right, and he is one of the best places on the lake to prove it. We have a swimming pool, hot tub, mini golf. We have uh, sand, volleyball, shuffleboard, horseshoes. Lakeshore RV Park is a home away from home for travelers all summer long. It's a pretty relaxed atmosphere, you know, um, sitting around the campfire just relaxing, just really having fun with the family and spending time together. 65 sites here are seasonal. We actually have six sites here amongst my whole family. Families like Terry Lorenzo's park their camper for the summer and come back on weekends. Well, I don't think that there's anywhere better than Minnesota to raise your children to have outdoor heritage be really, really important to them. It's a way to be in touch with nature while still enjoying some comforts of home. Some people might take their kids and go to big water parks or whatever, but we always like the camping. We like the bonfires. We like the fishing. Uh, we like the swimming and uh, the fun activities on the lake. That's just, that's what we do for fun. That tradition is something that Steve Drott grew up enjoying and something he hopes his kids will continue for the next generation. Camping is a lifestyle. You know, when we were young, we, we toured around with a little pop-up camper, um, and now the campers are getting larger and larger, but it's still a lifestyle. For sure. Our thanks to Steve. Uh, he told us that uh, the campground actually used to be an apple orchard. So if you're coming out here, that's the way to go. Find a campground, bring your RV, uh, maybe check out Airbnb or check out some of the other cabins. It's not a place where you're going to find a lot of hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to plan ahead. But if you do it, you get the big reward behind us. Now I'll tell you what else you're going to find out here. A jailhouse converted into a winery <laughs> where you can make wine. We'll bring it to you tonight at 10. The jailhouse is still in place. And I got to tell you, Amelia, Frank walked in there and said, it feels like home. I don't know what he meant by that. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, please don't laugh. Yeah, I, know, I know you're right. I mean, Maxie's Jeez, like a Max comedian. Maxie's on a roll tonight, <laughs> folks. All, All right. right. Thanks, Maxie. Keep that envelope with the bail money nearby. Yes, okay. <laughs> and those are just ad libs. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> How about that? Maxie doing stand up out there yeah. in Nortonville. I'm sure Who they knew? really appreciate Comedy that. Gold too. In Comedy gold. Comedy gold out there. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Frank and Maxie. Okay, uh, 